a star in uh, the brand stars of the brand new movie, The Skull, which opens next Friday. Every Wednesday night, you check him out on the hit WB show, Dawson's Creek. Take a look. No, but you called me. I just want to know why you called me. You were the first person that I thought of, Pacey. And what does that mean, Joe? It means that... I guess it... It means that I can talk to you and that you're there for me. Don't you ever get tired of talking? No. No, well, I, I don't get, get tired. tired. Well, I don't know. I don't want to talk it. anymore. What are you trying to say, Joe, Pacey? Why are we standing? I don't... Please welcome back to the show, Joshua Depp. psyched enough because of NSYNC, then we have to have you. I've decided I only go and do publicity now with NSYNC. That's pretty After much, that's a great idea. Yeah. Oh. Now, you were great on SNL. Did you have a good time? Uh, I had the time of my life. It's nerve-wracking all yeah. week, yeah. but then uh, you get right down to it, and it goes so fast. It does. I mean, they're tugging you around, and they basically, they, as soon as you finish a skit, they pull you off, right. they strip you naked, they put on your next round of clothes, and, then, <laughs> and they stick you and out on they stage. Kick exactly. you out and you go and do it. And then an hour and a half later, you're saying goodnight. Now, did you do live theater at all? No. So oh, that was your first experience, really? Yeah. 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 It's, no, it, it was a ton of fun. I got a big head now. I felt like a rock star. Did you? When really? it all, yeah, you finish off and you're like, woohoo, with live audience. And you get the live audience every day. I don't get a live audience. No, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, it is yeah. very good. I now, like it. Um, were you most nervous about the monologue part? Yes. Yeah, that's Once you get through the monologue, you're kind of cruising. Yeah. But uh, you stand backstage there for Four minutes while they're doing all the intros and everything, and you just say, oh, please, 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 please let me get through this. Please, everybody I know is watching this. Yeah. So, yeah. But well, you did very well. Thank you. Now, is it true what I read in the paper that you, like me, rescue people? Um, actually, I do it without the aid of uh, powered vehicles. No kidding, yeah. Joshua. Yeah. I, yeah. as you all know, I'm a powerboat and jet ski rescuer. <laughs> How you rescued someone who was drowning? I am a, a swimming and floating rescuer. Really? Yes. Tell me what happened. Uh, well, well my... how many have you rescued? Just so. only two. Oh. Interesting. Go ahead. Only well, two. I'm just starting out. No, you know, all right, I mean, you're beginning. Uh, I'm a beginning rescuer, yeah. not a seasoned rescuer like yourself. Right. So what happened? You were um, on the beach? We were on the beach. Me and a couple of friends were on the beach uh, over the summer, and somebody came, I don't know, running in. Me and my buddies were down the beach a little bit. Someone came running over and saying these two girls were drowning because they picked a very foolish place to go swimming. So me and my buddy Mike uh, basically swam out. As, as it turns out, the young lady was having an asthma attack, which I can understand since I have asthma. And we just... We were uh, flotation devices, I guess. We just no stayed out there and kept them afloat until the uh, Coast Guard came to pick them up. And how them. old were they? Uh, 15 and 16. And actually, the girl, she's out there and she's having an asthma attack and her back is turned and she's been kind of tossed around by the waves and her friend's out there trying to keep her up too. And I get out there and my buddy Mike's like, just stay right there, stay right there. And, you know, she's wheezing. She turns around, Pacey? Exactly. You know. <laughs> I'm like, yes, Pacey, stop talking. <laughs> That must have been, that's a great feeling, though, when you save someone. It was. Saying, it was yeah. definitely cool. But then the phone started ringing off the hook, and I get this call from my... I didn't realize that it was going to be such a big deal, and then it got into the media, and my mother... It, the story got all turned around. I was dead, and my mother was calling. Don't ever do this again! Oh, my oh. God, I thought you were dead! Yeah, well, what, as an advice from a seasoned rescuer, yes. as soon as you save, it, save anyone, tell everyone you know. This is because that, you know, that was my I mistake. come right on the show with photos. I actually have a camera in my jet ski. This is the girl that no, I do. I have a disposable waterproof camera. After I rescue someone, I think, Would you mind if I take a snapshot? And I have a wall of all the people I save. Well, I guess it's, it's better that you take the picture after you save them instead of could you just stay in the water there for a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the light's really good here. Yeah, well, uh, most of my rescues, oh, a few of them, three girls who were on the jetty, rock jetty, that was a rescue without it, but the other ones, um, were all. Their boats were stalled, or their jet skis. One uh, guy was French. He's like, "Hold the the hold the 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 door." You come dinner. and get me oh, off no, the exactly. jet ski, here. No, he was on his his phone, his cell phone. Yeah, it was funny. But um, now the new movie, The Skull, is very physical role. Yes. What right. is it about? It's, it's a strange title. Um, well, the, yes, it is kind of a strange title. And actually, most people think that it's a slasher movie when That's they what hear I thought, about maybe. it. But it's based on at Yale University. There's a secret society called the Skull and Bone Society. And we can't explain this one to me. They're, the, they're a secret society, but they've, they've copyrighted the name. Which doesn't really make any sense, No, it does doesn't. It? No. So, so we can't call them the Skull and Bones, so we just call them the Skulls. And it's essentially this guy is in his final year at Yale, wants to become a lawyer, and uh, 
this group, when you get in, they take care of you. They take care of everything. They pay off all your bills. They give you a free car. They rent you an apartment. They set you up at whatever law school you want to be in. They guarantee you that you're going to get into the firm of your choice. And he gets in, but he realizes that uh, the price for admission is really not to get through the, the test to pass the cruise boats. You give up your free will. And he has to try and get out. Really? Yes. So, like, they kind of make you do bad things? Yes. Stuff. They're evil, evil, evil people. And it's a true story? Uh, no, it's a true group, but it's a completely fictionalized story. Oh, that's good, because I was <laughs> going to say, boy, they're going to be mad now. Yeah. Never Woo. mind the name thing. You just so if them. I disappear next Saturday morning. Yeah, I'll come rescue you. Yes, Don't worry. exactly. All right, we have a clip. Take a look. The cute Joshua Jackson rescuer in this home. <laughs> Must be what they mean by a skull above any other. <laughs> Yeah, towards you. One more time. Hey, don't let go, Luke. Don't let go. Hold on, Caleb. Hold on. Hang on. Hold on. Pull me up. Pull me up. Jackson right after this. Don't go. Away.